Honorable Madiba, what do you think of the forthcoming Edo state election? It's not serious. I'm not thinking anything. But all I have to say, let me shock you. Election violence is like drug abuse. <laughs> you are doing yourself. Election violence is like using penis enlargement drugs. <laughs> it's when you get old that you will know what you have done to yourself. I just want to tell everybody to desist from election violence. You want to defend somebody with your life. Somebody that cannot even defend your rights. Well done, Minister of Defense. <laughs> How can you be fighting and killing yourself because of electoral gain? You need to gain sense first. How many politicians have you seen their family members carrying weapon and sword to, to fight people so that their, their family will win? They are not serious. How many politicians have you seen their family jumping and shouting that vote for my father, vote for my father? You are not serious. So you have now carried the whole issue, the whole politics on your head. I greet you, over Sabi, and let me shock you. It, I'm angry because it was over Sabi that killed my uncle. Some people have taken election violence as their job. You will fight for this party today. You will fight for the other party tomorrow. In fact, parties are playing with you. I greet you, Mr. DJ. In fact, I have one word for them. And that is post-election violence destruction technology. What does that mean, sir? Do I know? My brother, you need to know. You need to know because on this election, my opinion is that this election is not a do or die affair. No governorship aspirant position or dreams is worth the life of any adolite in a state. Hear me well. The slogan for Edo State is the heartbeat of Nigeria. But I am pain as an Edo son that Edo made headline in 2020 because of election crisis. It is all like us. We won't take crisis this time around. This is a sound warning. If you lose election, go back to your business. Return back to your business and allow Edo State to move forward for peace and progress. No more carrying of guns and arms for this election. It is time for the youth to carry their voter's card and vote for the candidate of their choice. Instead of them to give you jobs, they give you guns. Instead of them to employ you to work, they deploy you to kill. A do youth, enough. The destiny and future of a do state is bigger than bag of rice and pure water. Say no to bribery and corruption. Vote free, vote fair, and vote wisely. That's my opinion. Thank you, my brethren. Ah, can you see what's not there? I don't have problem with APC or PDP. Or whoever and match a winner in this forthcoming election. My hope is say whoever and match a winner should make a do state a better place for all Edo people. And all the aspirants for this governorship election, listen to me. Whoever wins this election should please carry all Edo people, all the parts of the state along. Let me also use this opportunity to talk to all the House of Rep members, all the senators representing a those state in the federal level. Una where they go allocate billions of naira to. Una collect and go na constituency. Go dig ole boyo. Una come come with una long entourage. Go commission boyo. Put una picture. If una not change, una hear from me. And now well, before I go, all of una. Where they sharp on a cutlass, they sharp on a battle ass. But on the clean gun, they shot this Edo State election. Head go row, head go row. The day of election, God go drive all of Naita bush. Who hold cutlass, go they cut grass. Who hold battle ass, go they cut wood. Who carry gun, go they shoot animals. Because now waiting that they use those things for. Election, not be do or die affair. I wish all the aspirants good luck. And I leave Edo people with this question. I wish the brethren, vote free, vote fair. And vote wisely. Ada go. Thank you, my brother. But the organ pata pata of them all, the general vassia of them all, is a do state election. Election is not a do or die affair. How can you kill your brothers and sisters for people that do not care about our welfare? That is not fair. How can they pay you peanuts to risk your life and rig an election? And when they win, they'll pay their side chick millions to ease their election. This election, gentlemen, no day. Oh, this is a song that has led those who thought they were politically brave to their early grave, leaving their family in tears and in pains. It's Instead of them to employ you in the office to crack your brains and produce results, they will employ you in election feed to crack guns and manipulate results. It is only a coward that will be ready to die and leave his family in pain because of the selfish interest of what another man stands to gain. How can you travel all the way from wherever you are to come and disturb the activities of an election that is supposed to be free and fair and the money that they will pay you will not even be up to your transport fare? How can they pay you 5000 to steal ballot bus? How much is bus of egg group? Hey! If they need people to fight and kill for them, tell them to to use their children and their family members. Let our voters card do the fighting and let the ballot box be the battleground. Vote your conscience and not your interest. Vote for project and not for your pocket. Vote for employment and not for embezzlement. Vote free, vote fair, vote wisely. Free and fair election is the government of demo. Free and fair election is the general overseer of demo. Free and fair election does not live in bribery and corruption. It lives in our conscience and in our voters card. Thank you. Thank you.